Hello, I'm Harsha, an AWS support engineer working in Sydney. Today, I'm going to show you how to use MySQL Workbench to connect to an Amazon Relational Database service for MySQL instance. Let's get started. The first step is to download and install the MySQL Workbench. Then open MySQL Workbench and choose the plus sign next to MySQL Connections to set up a new connection. In the Setup New Connection dialog box, enter a name for your connection. You can choose any name. For example, I'm going to use the RDS instance name. Next, in the Parameters section, enter the parameter details. For host name, enter the RDS endpoint. You can find the RDS endpoint on the Connectivity and Security tab on the RDS web console. For port, enter the port number. You can find the port on the Connectivity and Security tab on the RDS web console page. The default port is 3306. For username, enter the username for the connection. If this is the first time you're connecting to the instance or you haven't created database users yet, then you can use the primary user that's specified when you create the instance. You can find the primary user details on the configurations tab on your RDS web console. Note, as a best practice, don't use the primary user directly in your applications. Instead, use a database user that has minimal permissions required for your application. Choose test connection. In the pop-up window that appears, if you're using the primary user, then enter the password that you configured when you created the DB instance. Choose OK. After you test your connection, navigate to the Setup New Connection dialog box and choose OK to save the connection. If you receive an error when you test the connection, then check that you correctly configured the network. And now you know how to use MySQL Workbench to connect to an Amazon RDS for MySQL instance. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.